Hello and welcome back to Good Game Nation where we bring you all things TCG. My name's Preston and today is Newsday. We're going to jump right into it because there's a lot of really good cards that came out this week that I want to talk about as well as some updates on some news that we talked about last week and um, I didn't really talk about the ban list that came out on the news, I, not really at least. I did release a, a short and a reel on Instagram and TikTok and all that stuff. But there were some cards that were added to the ban list as of this past Friday. Um, the Marco from set 3 just got added to set to 1. Nami got completely banned. And then Edward Newgate Leader got completely banned. Curly Dadan got completely banned. And then this is the older stuff. The difference in the stuff that came out earlier this week is they are lifting this ban on this current ban list for these cards only as of the release of set five. Um, so this is only going to be in effect for the one month. Um, I wish this was more transparent when they released the tweet. I wish this page was updated when they released the tweet because I know a lot of people as they as I would be as well got really upset and sold stuff and bought stuff at a loss which is frustrating for a player base that is spending lots of money on these things it's really disappointing to see this type of uh, thing happen where if you have alt arts you sold your alt arts out of anger and now you are downed a lot of money because then you bought yellow which I think a lot of people were jumping to yellow uh, at a loss because then Katakuri's went up with this news. So uh, I wish in the future that when they do these things, they are very transparent that these cards are coming off at a certain time. We still don't have an update for these. They're not saying that they're changing. They say that they have an opportunity to always bring them back. So I don't know, maybe hold cards longer or just wait for more news to come out before jumping to conclusions but also it's human nature to jump to conclusions like that i was quite surprised to see these cards go so let's move on to some lighter news we got our first announcement in english for the three brothers deck that's coming out in april we saw some of the art already for at least the deck box and stuff on the japan side but in the English side, this is the first posting that we've seen of it, and it's talking about what is coming in the set. Um, no update on colors, but I believe we got a leak that these are all yellow leaders with some other color. Um, red, blue, black maybe I think was the leak. Um, but this is also something I didn't see in the Japanese sizes. There's going to be a bonus pack of three cards in each one which is kind of annoying because it comes at a pretty high price tag and if you're only getting three of 16 I know collectors are going to want that and you don't need to get so many starter decks to get that so it's kind of silly um, I want to see what those are maybe they're uh, Dawn cards which aren't as big of a deal but if they're character cards that are important to the meta I think that's a big bummer in my opinion but we're getting a, a full deck with three leaders, a sheet, a deck box, and ten Dawn. I heard the Dawn are going to be hollow and sexy again, like uh, we just got in the Ultimate deck. Moving on to card reveals. Our first card up is Onami. Onami, yellow character, two cost, three K power, straw hat crew, one K counter. On play, give up to one of your leaders or characters. Banish for this turn. Trigger, K up to one of your opponent's five cost or lower characters. So that's a pretty crazy two cost that allows you to give Banish. It's interesting because it doesn't have a specification, at least here in this translation. It doesn't say that it has to be a Wano type character or a Straw Hat. We've already seen stuff like this with Napoleon, Prometheus, and Zeus for Big Mom where they gave them a keyword trait. But this is a Nami that just gives it to any character. So any yellow deck is going to be able to give Banish to something. This is really cool also because our green-yellow leader Yamato has double attack. So as soon as you're swinging with your leader, you can play this 
and get banished. So you're not giving your opponent a chance to hit uh, cards to their hand. So it's taking away that card advantage two at a time, which is quite crazy. And I think I think this is the turn of One Piece where we're going to start seeing power creep. Up to this point, we've seen set one and two still be relevant. And when you start adding stuff like this and some of the other cards that we're going to see uh, later in this video, the power creep, I think, is really coming in strong in set six. So we'll have to see how people react to that. Are we just going to start slowly phasing out our early stuff because it's just not strong enough? Um, I think that becomes more evident with this next card too because this is a massive blocker. Let's get into it. So this is also the first time I've said his name out loud. It's Green Bull uh, is what we mostly know him as. This is Aramaki, blue character, eight cost, 8K power, Navy, blocker. Activate main once per turn, discard one card from your hand and return one cost to or lower character to the bottom of its owner's deck. This character gains 3k power for this turn. So this is an admiral Admiral in One Piece. He's very strong. Um, and he's coming in at 8k power with a chance to get to 11 by activating his effect. It's conditional on your opponent having a 2 cost or lower character, which might not be happening as often as, as it is now, based off of some other stuff. You'll see. But also a blocker at 8k is pretty massive. I'm trying to think back of what our strongest blocker is up to this point and if they're playable and I can't really think of any off the top of my head that are this big. I know we have some decent blockers but 8k is a massive uh, body on the board to get around and um, it's going to be really interesting to see how this guy gets brought into the meta and what if at all because blue is such a tight um color that it already has so many good options on the top end will we need blockers at 8k that can remove a card once per turn or is mihawks and doflamingos and the kaido from i think the last set just there's so many good blue cards at the top end that this fits in a really weird spot for me in my head. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next card. All right, the next card is Arc Maxim, Yellow Stage, cost one, Sky Island, activate main once per turn. You may rest this stage and one of your Enel, KO all of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less. So I'm trying to figure out what the Enel they're talking about. If this has to be the character Anel, it's not as crazy. Um, but if you're allowed to rest your leader uh, Anel with this, it gets a lot more abusive. It's a really rude card to have. And it's, again, another level of power creep where a lot of cards early on are going to be KO one card, KO X of something. This is all of your opponents with a cost of two or less. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, especially for what we've been seeing in the West with Zoro playing a lot of one cost, um, weenie ish style is what I like to refer to them, as well as Law, which plays a lot of lower cost cards to get the board state up to swap out into stuff. And um, this would wreck those concepts. Uh, and it gives yellow such a huge advantage, which is already a really good color. In set five, it is doing nasty things with an L. Um, I don't know if it's winning huge tournaments, but I know it's really oppressive otherwise. So giving it an option to play a one cost stage that KOs half your board state and like your searchers and your stuff that you want to try to pick back up and use again is crazy. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this card. Is it not as good as I think it is because of that keyword Anel um, and it requires to have that character on board, um, which is like a higher cost card. So it's going to take a lot longer for you to get to play this card and use it. Or is it just nutty and we have to play yellow or lose to yellow? Let me know in the comments. And now we're going to jump into something that I'm really excited just to, to look at. 
is uh, they released a lot of the alt arts. I don't know if it's all of the alt arts because I didn't count, but they released a lot of alt arts and the special rares for this set. These are reprints of cards that are in other sets and sometimes in this set. So we have a few cards that we've seen before and I believe this is a card from the set. I can see a OP06. So, so they did this with the Nellos, a second reprint, but this is a Caesar from, I believe, a few sets ago, which is uh, the Event Searcher. And then, surprise, surprise, a reason why I believe Big Mom is still not banned, a Big Mom reprint. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be light and fun. Uh, showing off the art, I pulled up as many as I could find from their Twitter, and uh, I believe these are the special rares from this set so they're not the normal alt arts i believe these are like the two per case alt arts um similar to what we've seen with the really nice like close-ups from a few sets ago and um the ones from op05 that we haven't gotten in the west yet but that had the ridiculous backgrounds the nami reprint the now and stuff like that so let's move on to the other alt arts that are actually cards that are printed in this set uh, the Searcher uh, Luffy, the really good uh, Shanks that we saw last week, and just a very suave looking Shanks. And then I forgot this guy's name because he's a film card, but these are all red cards. Um, moving on to the next one, which is our set of black cards with Sol uh, Solomon. Uh, that's not his name. Um, Gecko and Perona. Very, very nice alt arts on. The right hand side i don't think his alt art is as nice compared to this gecko moria which is just incredible he has a shadow it looks like he's holding the luffy shadow here just a really 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 nice card and then perona which we all love cute anime girls in this card game so why not moving on to the germa alts um with two of the siblings and judge and Again, cute anime girl and then some other cards. It's kind of what we get in this game, uh, like it or not. But all really nice alt arts, I think, coming out of this set. Very nice um, art, as always. The alt arts are very well done. Really like the full art. Can't wait to see them drop the text down like they do sometimes so that we get more full art. So we get more of the art in the full arts. So if Shanks's text was lower, we would get a proper full art. But they only do that sometimes. It's really weird. Anyways, very nice alt arts. Let's move on. Moving on to another SR, we have Kozuki Hiyori, yellow character, cost two, zero power. Wano, Kozuki Clan, 2k counter. On play, you may put the top or bottom card of your life pile into your hand. Put up to one card from your hand on the top of your life pile. That's pretty crazy. Um, being able to shuffle your life like that, I'm guessing you don't get trigger off of that pickup, but you can place triggers in there, which makes... Uh, the people that get upset for yellow just being sacky and just finding triggers a lot more annoyed because you're going to be placing them there um and at two cost that's pretty nice to shuffle and if you're playing i don't know katakuri that lets you look at all your life and rearrange and play that how you want being able to set and pick up stuff that you don't want there um basically at no cost. I mean, you lose a 2k counter out of your hand and it's just a card that's gonna sit on board because you have zero, uh, zero power. But that advantage to be able to say, oh, I have a card in my life that doesn't have trigger that I want in my hand right now and it's placed well. I have this card in my hand with trigger that I want in my life. It's perfect, um, lovely card. And I think it's going to get played a lot in yellow. Um, I don't know how it fits into the current yellow, but I do believe that this has a place in yellow decks at two cost. Why not? It, it just seems like it, a thing that yellow wants to do is get those triggers. If you actually drew your Shirahoshi, 
now it's not in your hand anymore doing nothing it's in your life getting ready to draw all those cards so i can't wait to see how this impacts yellow because it's such a a strong character card in my opinion on to another blue card that i was not expecting to get but i'm really happy that they got it Shigi blue character cost 1 2k power navy 1k counter unplay look at the top five cards of your deck reveal up to one navy type card other than Tashigi and reveal it then put it into your hand then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order this is just a searcher um it's a blue navy searcher that doesn't do bad things like brand new or the other ones it just searches and I think it improves the blue-black game and makes navy much stronger. It solidifies navy into blue instead of other. So if you're going to play navy with, uh, I don't know, Sakazuki, one of the best leaders in, in set 5, blue-black searcher for navy is incredible. So I think this is just making that leader better, um, making a, a lot stronger to be able to search out your black navy cards as well and um just making it much more formidable in the meta and finally the last card that we are talking about today a yellow event card impact yellow event forecast sky island shandora warrior main choose one of the following ko up to one of your opponent's five cost or lower characters if you're or if your opponent has one life deal one damage to them then add the top card of your life to your hand. Trigger, draw one card. So this is an interesting card because it feels like it's meant to counter Enel a little bit because he always gets that one life back as an option. Um, but also being able to choose to do this as a four cost, immediately take that damage, and then force your opponent to... Uh, play out of what they thought was a safety of one life so it's a really interesting mind game card as well as being able to KO a five or less um, is also really good I don't know how often you use the trigger on this card but I mean a draw one isn't bad if you are not expecting to need to use its actual effects so very cool card to to end this week on um really excited for the cards that are coming out the alt arts look great and everything that we've seen so far is showing a very strong future for this card game as well as maybe writing some previous wrongs or just pushing the game forward instead of leaving us in the past and early sets let me know what you think in the comments down below are you excited for what's coming in OPO 6 is the power creep concerning are you worried about what is happening are you excited that we're not going to be stuck in a stagnant meta where we're playing a lot of early stuff and we're just not worried about the new stuff let me know I'm really curious to see what your thoughts are on that and until next time thank you all for watching peace